Hi, my name is Maya. Are you thinking about taking part in a clinical trial? Or are you helping a loved one decide? Well, I've been in a clinical trial, and I'll share what I learned and experienced. That way, you can make decisions with an idea of what to expect. A clinical trial, or clinical study, is research that helps to find out if investigational medications are safe and effective in humans. Researchers design clinical trials with investigational medications to determine whether or not they'll help people like you and me. Clinical trials are conducted and described based on their phase. Each phase has a different purpose. Phase one looks at whether the investigational medication is safe, typically with healthy volunteers. Phase two checks effectiveness and safety in people with the exact condition being studied. Phase three continues to monitor effectiveness and safety for people with the exact condition, but on a much larger scale. After the investigational medication is approved and widely used, phase four monitors long-term safety and effectiveness in people who have been prescribed the drug or treatment. A clinical trial might provide an option in dealing with the condition that we have beyond the treatments currently available. And when we participate in clinical trials, the results may support other people facing the same issues. If you're like me, you searched for clinical trials online and found a trial that you or a loved one may be interested in. So how do you know if the trial is right for you or your loved one? First, check that the trial is intended for your condition or illness by reading the guidelines or eligibility criteria. Then contact the study site to meet with the study doctor and team to answer your questions. There may be other factors that you have to match in order to participate in the clinical trial. The study team checks them all during the screening visit. Benefits? By participating in a clinical trial, you play an active role in your own study treatment and you are cared for by a team of healthcare professionals who really understand your health need. Clinical trial participants like us help move new medicine forward for everyone. There's no guarantee of improvement when participating in a clinical trial. In some trials, patients might be taking a placebo, an inactive treatment, rather than the investigational treatment. Depending on the trial, you might experience side effects, complications, and discomforts. Also, the investigational medication may not work for you compared to your standard treatment. Participation in a clinical trial could add to your already full daily schedule. For example, you might need more time to commute to the study site. Although you may be reimbursed for study-related time and travel, you might miss time from your job. There's a lot to think about. But my family, friends, care team, and other professionals really helped me weigh the pros and cons. And they gave me the extra help and emotional support I needed while in the trial. So here's what my clinical trial was like. I went in for my appointment to meet the study doctor and team. They answered all my questions and patiently walked me through the informed consent form. The informed consent form contained all the details about the trial so that I could decide to participate with full knowledge. They also said I could take the informed consent form home and discuss it with my doctor, family, and friends before making a decision. They made sure I understood that deciding to participate in a clinical trial was voluntary and that my personal medical information would be kept confidential. They also shared that I could stop participating at any time for any reason. I asked the study team some additional questions to make sure I had all the facts I needed to make a decision, and then I signed the informed consent form. After signing, they gathered my medical information and did a physical examination to determine if the results matched with the study criteria. Based on the results, they confirmed that I qualified for participation in the clinical trial. At the next visit, I received my study medication and directions on when and how to take them. In my clinical trial, the study treatment was an investigational medication in the form of a pill. For your trial, it could be an investigational injection, liquid, device, or procedure. No matter the type of investigational treatment, it's important to follow the study team's exact instructions and to attend follow-up visits to continue having your health monitored. 
I continued visits on a regular schedule where I talked with the study team members and had my health information updated regularly. They monitored me closely so they could address any symptoms or side effects that might have come up. In some clinical trials, people are monitored with electronic health tracking devices. For my trial, I filled out questionnaires to keep track of what I was experiencing and any changes to my health. At the end of the clinical trial, I had my final visit and evaluation, and that was it. I went back to my regular doctors and treatments. What about the results after the clinical trial was finished? When the trial was finished, the data was analyzed by the sponsor's research team, and the completed study results were made available online. You can find results from completed AbV trials by visiting clinicaltrialsandme.com. So that was my experience. Are you ready to consider finding a clinical trial for your condition?